Hello, and welcome to this hopefully very abbreviated but also comprehensive review of the Andower Video Tripod, or as it is listed on Amazon, the Andower Video Tripod 71 inch professional heavy duty aluminum tripod with quick release plate and fluid drag pan tilt, max load 17.6 pounds. 180 centimeters for DSLR camcorders. To those of you who might be new to the channel, my name is Jared. Uh, I'm a photographer and cinematographer from Louisiana. I'm also a YouTuber and I just recently started shooting daily vlogs. Now, so far the daily vlog experience has been pretty fantastic, although I typically have to find workarounds with my own gear. And if you've ever shot daily videos or even bi-weekly videos, you understand that having to work around your gear is rather frustrating, although kind of part of the process. But every now and again, something comes along that just really grinds your gears and you know that it absolutely does not have to be this way. It just is by virtue of the situation. That is what happened with the Andor tripod. Now, I don't have the tripod here with me. I'm actually not even using it to shoot this video. And the reason being is because I actually returned it yesterday. So to back up a little bit and give a little context to the story. For the longest time, I have shot all of my videos on the Targus, uh, I think it's like a PG60T, I don't know. It's some sort of tripod that I saw at Walmart and I purchased. It was like $80 at the time and it seemed like a good deal because it seemed like a relatively heavy duty tripod. Now, this has been at least three years ago and it has served its purpose very well, although I have beat the brakes off of this tripod on more than one occasion. One of the legs is very broken. None of the bolts are tightened down. It's more often than not lopsided or very, very flimsy. As a matter of fact, this exact tripod dropped my wife's camera like a week ago. And yet here we are, and I'm actually using it again over the Andor tripod. So about three weeks ago, I decided it was really time for me to upgrade tripods. The Targus one has served its purpose. It's done a fantastic job, but it's not tall enough. It's broken in more ways than one. It's very unreliable. And I was just looking for a better tripod. So I did as you do, got on YouTube, started searching a little bit, and I stumbled across a video about the Andor 71 inch tripod. Watch the review. It seemed to be rather conclusive. It seemed like it was a pretty decent tripod. Pod, so I went ahead and hopped on Amazon and ordered one. And about three weeks ago, it actually showed up and made a very, very, very small cameo at the end of one of my daily vlogs. Alrighty. So this isn't like a product review or anything. I actually ordered this. Okay. Ooh. Yes, it's a tripod. I, I ordered a tripod. This isn't like a brand endorsement or anything, but this is a tripod by the company and doer and endure it's on amazon i ordered it because i was in desperate need of a tripod because i broke my last one so far so good really like it one thumb up so when i opened the box pulled the tripod out it honestly seemed fantastic it felt very well built it seemed easy enough to operate i was very satisfied with my purchase but as time would have it i would come to regret that so the first problem i had with the tripod started about a week ago now it's kind of hard to explain because the tripod is not right here in front of me but do you see that little piece right there on the tripod that is basically a plastic piece that straddles in between these two rails and it helps the one section of the tripod to drop down and go back up that one little plastic piece proved to be quite the troublemaker it would constantly slide in and out of the railing making it to where i had to stop what i was doing put everything down and fix that one plastic piece so the tripod wouldn't collapse on itself or refuse to open or close whenever i was trying to use it now this happened probably two or three times and i pacified it for the most part assuming you know like i said at the beginning of the video this is just part of the process but i would not continue to be as gracious with the gear yesterday afternoon. So if you would like to watch the vlog of yesterday afternoon, I'll link it up in one of these corners. 
But long and short of what happened, I had a photo session in the morning and then I had a very quick turnaround time and then I had a video session in the afternoon. Now, the video session was for a local company here in town and it was a pretty high dollar video production. The kind of video production that you really don't want your gear to break on. So as it would have it, as I'm setting up my gear that afternoon, I set my camera down to film a time lapse of me just setting up all of my gear just to give a little bit of context to the vlog. And here's what happened. I was very, very frustrated in that moment. Now, believe it or not, that video production actually wasn't supposed to happen until the next day, but because of a scheduling conflict, we had to expedite the video. So I actually didn't find out about the video shoot until the morning of. It was about 6.30 a.m. I woke up to leave for the first photo session of the day, and I had a text message saying that they were planning to film that afternoon at 4 p.m. So I left, started shooting the vlog, did the photo session that I had earlier that morning, and then showed up for the video session, very tired, and just kind of scrambling to get everything going because again, I was pretty unprepared when I showed up. But as I'm trying to put the tripod together, the one screw that's supposed to let that one leg go and let it drop down just completely strips out of its hole. So like I said, I have to completely stop what I'm doing and thread it back in, which took a few minutes. I'm sure most everybody has heard the old adage, time is money. That is very, very, very true, especially in the video production world. You do not want to waste time because more often than not, you have clients and talent and people over you who are waiting for things to get rolling, for things to get moving. So that is absolutely not the time for your gear to fail. Now, this is partially probably my fault for trusting a cheap tripod. I was looking to save money. I found something that was rather cost efficient. I just went for it. And... This, that's, this is where it got me. So all in all, to wrap this video up and tie it off with a bow, would I recommend the Andor 71 inch video tripod to you? And it would be a very resounding no. Again, when I first opened the tripod, it definitely seemed like it was going to be all that in a bag of chips. And it just wasn't. It was very, very, very frustrating. And if you shoot on high dollar video productions, it's, trust me, it's just, that's just, you You do not want to trust this tripod on something like that. So, I'm back to using my Targus PG60T or whatever it is tripod for the time being. I have not ordered another tripod, I have not ordered a replacement yet, but I felt like it was at least worth making a video and probably warning other people who were thinking about purchasing the same tripod. So, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, Give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. Uh, comment down below if you have a tripod that you really like or really sticks out to you. Or comment down below if maybe you've purchased this tripod before and you've had similar issues. Either way, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic remainder of your day. I'll see you in the next one.